Five little monkeys brush their teeth. Five little monkeys say goodnight to their mama. Say goodnight, mama. Can you count the monkeys? Good morning guys, it's just me and Aria up right now and we have decided to be rebels and we are having lunch for breakfast. So Aria was going on and on about how she wanted mac and cheese. We don't have any mac and cheese, so she's having some spaghetti, right? Some whole wheat pasta, mm -hmm. tomato sauce, parmesan cheese, all the good things. That is what she, she was like, mama, please go to the store and get me mac and cheese. I figure if you want lunch that bad, honey, we'll do lunch, but I'm not going to the store. So, is it good spaghetti? Let's see. Mmm, so good. So we're gonna eat our breakfast lunch, aren't we? It's ours. It's ours own. It's our own. Yeah. Yeah. And then I'm like, since you're having lunch, now I want lunch. So I'm gonna do a wrap. You know, cheese, lettuce inside of a wrap. I'm not a huge lunch meat person, so usually when I have a sandwich or a wrap. It's really just a cheese and lettuce. Sometimes I'll throw spinach or kale in there. Um, mayonnaise, or it's really good with laughing cow cheese spread on there instead of mayonnaise. But I ran out of laughing cow cheese. Yeah, I got three packs six days ago. They're all gone. But we all love laughing cow cheese, and it's been a while since I bought it. I'm making coffee. So I'm gonna have coffee and a wrap, and then I'm gonna work on a few, where is she? Oh, there she is, okay. <laughs> a few uh, little pre-K things with her at the table while we're just kind of eating. We've already been reading some books. Then I can kind of check her off for the day. Uh, School-wise, obviously, she'll still be here the rest of the day. But yeah, we are gonna eat. We've been at now for about two hours and we haven't eaten yet. That's just how we work. I've had coffee. She takes a little bit to want to eat, just like, you know, a lot of my other kids. Um, so that's what we're doing. It's Thursday here, by the way, in case you are wondering. So this is our last school day of the week. Um, we don't do school on Friday, so we're just wrapping up some things here today. I plan on finally getting us over to the library. What else is planned today? School, library, being outside, I think that about covers it up. So here's how my breakfast has shaped up to be. I have a wrap. This is just a little bit of mayonnaise, some romaine, and Swiss cheese. I have about a half a cup of cottage cheese and just three little apple slices. We are out of almost all the fruit. We have a few apples and that box of grapes. So I guess I'm going to be running into Aldi tomorrow for some produce. We have enough of basically everything else. We're just out of fruit. We've been fruit eaters. Violet has joined us this morning. She's awake and she is happy that we're having spaghetti for breakfast. She thought it was pizza. But she's still happy. Like it smelled like pizza, didn't it? So they are just having their spaghetti. I got the grapes out and the rest of the apple I cut because I just wanted a little bite of fruit. I don't need the whole apple. So they're going to share that. And Liam's actually up too. He's over there on the couch. He's not ready for food yet. And I think I hear some stirrings in there from the girls. So that's what we're up to. Is it good spaghetti? Good apples? And they have a little bit of almond milk here. All have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Be ba ba. Can you say ba 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 ba. 
Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Yes, you'll be saved. Yes, it's a C. Good job, Violet. C says K, K, K. All right, Ari's having some seconds on the spaghetti and she's gonna color, scribble around on her little letter cards. We've gone through all the names, so she's just gonna have fun scribbling on those. It has a beard. It has a beard? <laughs> And then we'll pull out a couple of little work books and read some more books. I have some books that need to go back to the library, but first we need to read them. So those are our preschool plans for today, huh? Are you doing ah, ah, aria? It's an A. Good, yeah, you do. Right, and you make an A. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Good job. All right, Aria's having fun. I printed off some of these worksheets for Violet, and Aria likes to do what Violet does, so she's just playing with this. She cut these out pretty good, and then I helped, I finished make them smaller. Now she's playing with the glue. Natalie's, and Lissa, Natalie's, I was going to say, Natalie has finished her breakfast, and has started. Lissa's finished her breakfast, and I see her get her notebook out here, so I guess she's about to start. And Liam is eating. Violet went to go get dressed. We fix her crazy hair. You're doing so good gluing. Good job. Are you practicing your book? Yeah, we'll read that together in a little bit, won't we? Uh-huh. It. You can sound out that one. So we say was, was uh, rainy afternoon. You know that word. Violet. Yeah. Was looking at picture Good job. You keep practicing. Are you two playing? Stick bots, is that what that's called? Cool. And you finished up your math. Yeah. Yeah, you read picture books. So now you're Arthur. <laughs> Is Daddy getting you? <laughs> oh boy! <laughs> We're outside sitting. Aaron's working on his truck. Story of our life. He's always working on that truck. That's okay. <laughs> Anywho, while he's working, we were outside chit-chatting with them, and the little kids came out here, brought some toys, and so I thought, while they're out here sitting playing with toys, Aaron's working on this truck, the two big girls are inside finishing up their grammar, I thought I would read some of our picture books, since we're going to go to the library here in a little bit, we have just a couple that we haven't finished, so we're going to read Too Many Pumpkins, I don't, any way you want it, it works for me, so I'm going to read to them while they sit here and play, so that we can go to the library here in a little bit. And I think it is, what time? It's 9.28. And Violet's been doing so good practicing her book. So are you ready to hear? Look, we're gonna read a book called Too Many Pumpkins. <gasps> look, Aria, look at the pumpkins. Is that pumpkin book? Yes, it's a pumpkin book. All right, are y'all ready? Too Many Pumpkins. Every year at springtime, Rebecca Estelle planted just enough seeds in her garden to grow vegetables for the long winter. She planted carrots and beans, tomatoes and peas. So since we had so much fun reading that pumpkin book, I went ahead and put it off the little guys some pages for today. So we're gonna do parts of a pumpkin, cut and paste. We did the life cycle of a pumpkin, so they can just draw in the pictures hey, there. Yes, and we everyone got a coloring page too. Oh, and then just some fun addition that'll be super easy for Liam, but Violet will have fun. And I even printed off Aria one so she can just have fun coloring and feel included. And then a pumpkin maze. So that'll give us some fun school activities. First, they're working on their fun coloring pages, huh? And Natalie's yes, finishing up spelling. Uh, no. Oh boy, you got kitty cats. Yay, kitty Mommy, cats. So this I love is it. Thomas and black, white, okay. purple, and then like I did a little pink. I love it, I love it. While they work on that, we're gonna go ahead and read our other picture book we need to finish before we go to the library, and then I think we'll be ready to head out. Got caribou? What else do you have? Geckos and lions. What else? I have, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we got lots of animals. Okay, you wanna put the animals in the back? 
Oh, there's one. 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 Oh, there's
Tupperware and just give him a handful of that. We're almost out of these almonds, y'all. Give him a little bit more. So I just fill him up some almonds and put that in there. And then he drinks a protein shake once a day. So we use another little tiny Tupperware and it's just the right size for a scoop of the protein that he uses. And um, and then we I usually also pack him up some fruit, or he will if he's making it. And like I said, I think I said that today, we're almost all out of fruit. So I don't have anything I can pack him fruit-wise. So yeah, I'm going to add this protein powder in here. And that's it. It all goes in his lunch pack with a little cooler thing. And his lunch is all set for uh, this evening when he decides to eat it. And here's how much is left of the chili pie. So we all had our serving, but we just kind of picked at it and forced it down I'll say it was not bad it was just very meaty um, and so yeah but there's this much left so I will just save this and I'm sure Aaron can put put it to good use and eat it up for us since we had um, some pumpkin coloring sheets printed off then while we're at the library I went ahead and picked up why are we harvest pumpkins in the fall and a seed becomes a pumpkin so I'm going to read these to the three youngest guys and they're going to work on their worksheets. Natalie's over there working on her history and Melissa's working on science. And yeah, so that's what we are doing. Are you gluing them all down? That says vine. It goes right here. Vine. Good job. And Violet, you're cutting. All right, let's start reading. We harvest pumpkins in the fall. Yep. We knew that, didn't we? Okay, let's get to it. The fall season. Fall arrives, weather gets colder, and many, many fruits become ripe. It says, what fruits do you see? Um, and tell me one. Apples, you said pumpkin. What, what's that? Grapes. Grapes! Pumpkins are a fun part of fall. What season comes next after fall? Come winter. On it. There's snow on it because winter's coming. That says the rind. So that, that's the stem. The, the rind is just the outside of it, the skin of it. It goes here. You're doing the stem, you said? An A! Yay! Okay, so the first part of the life cycle of the pumpkin, 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 I can't say it, is a seed. Is this your pumpkin seed? Okay. After the seed, do we remember? We have to plant it in the ground and we get a seedling, right? So you have to draw the dirt. You want to read that dinosaur book? Okay, hold on. I will. started to explode the code. The girls are still working on history. That's going to take them a little bit. Me and Aria have been reading. She dumped out all the library books. I want to dip and the door and make a big hole so I can go on the deep. You want to make a wolf den? Is that what you want? Yeah, that's a den. A wolf den. You can make a pretend one maybe out of blankets. Huh? Luna's being Luna. How's it going? You haven't heard to draw? I'm anxious to see how you draw Walt Disney. That'll be so neat. Lucky for you, you're good at drawing. You and Lissa both. Yeah, I bet. Alright, we have our dinner at lunchtime, really. So, we are all getting hungry again. And this has turned into just our snacking time. So, we all just kind of usually whip something up. I don't cook another big meal. We just will make little convenient foods or snacks, if you will. So, we're about to do some meat and cheese roll-ups with apple slices. I'm going to have mine on a wrap, and I need to get some more um, sliced cheese out of my refrigerator. We just used the last, I mean out of my freezer. We just used the last out of my fridge. So we're going to make some ham and cheese roll-ups, or they can have it on a wrap. And this is our last bit of apple here. So, yeah, I'll be heading, like I said, to the store tomorrow to get some more fruit. Look at this. No oranges. 
dirty dinner pan, no bananas. So yeah, it's just a sad state, isn't it? Sad state. So, are you hungry? You want meat and cheese and apples? Yeah, so we're gonna go have a little snacky supper now. All right guys, wearing different clothes. I've already went and got myself comfy. So I'm about to wash all these dishes behind me from lunch and snacking today. We're gonna do some evening time read alouds and that's gonna be our day for today. Other than a couple of the kiddos need baths today. But yeah, that's it. Melissa's out. Her and my mom went to go for a walk today. Liam's over there playing Legos. Um, they've all just been playing all kinds of little games, hide and seek and whatnot. So yeah, I'm gonna go get some evening time chores done, evening time read alouds done, and that is our day. I hope you guys are having a great day, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, y'all.